Another example problem, is it states you run around a 400 meter track at the end of your run. What is the distance that you travel? So if we, if we consider a track, let's draw a track, which is going to be an oval. So if I draw an oval, let's just call this the track, we'll call it an oval track. If we start at some location, we'll say here, and we run all the way around. We would have run a, a distance of 400 meters. So the number of meters that you run would be the distance traveled. Distance is how many steps you take or how many meters you run, 400 meters. Next question. If we run around the track, what is the displacement? Again, if we use the same track, and I'll draw another oval. Or we could make it a circular track, it doesn't matter. If I start at some location, doesn't matter what path it is or how you get there, and you'll see why in a moment. If I start off at some location, I'm gonna call this my starting location x naught, and I run all the way around. I'm running around this 400 meter circular track. I go full circle all the way around, and oh, I ran off the track and I get back home. That's my final location. My displacement can be calculated by taking the final location minus the initial location my final location is my starting point, zero meters. That's my starting line. Minus my initial location. Oh, I started off at zero meters. My net displacement is zero. And even though I ran off the track a little bit, let's say something started to chase me and I deviated from my intended path, I still ended up at my starting location my displacement is zero. Let's look at another example of a path that would give me a zero displacement. I can start here and run all the way to infinity, way off as far as possible, and then come all the way back on this path. And as long as I start and end at the same location, my displacement is nothing. 